Hello, hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, I'm going to pull a short reading for those of you that are going through some kind of inner turmoil that has to do of maybe something that you are carrying around from your past, from your inner childhood. Okay, so we're going to be using these um, little cards. Um, these are the ones that I did buy from Etsy. I think it's called Total Products. Okay, but anyway, we, we will be pulling out messages to see where you are, you know, if you're healing, if you need to heal. Please, Universal Energies, anybody that was brought here by the title of this short reading, please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. I got a couple of decks that are, I mean, a couple of cards that are, okay. All right, so we got here in the past, you were terrified and scared, and now you are safe and protected. You also have here in the past, you could have been dealing with, you felt the need to be perfect to your caretakers. And now you embrace all of the imperfections and the characteristics that are your true self. And you also have here in the past, you were ignored. And now you give yourself all the self-love and attention that you need. Some people may be saying that I talk a lot about self-love on this channel, but you know what? I feel that if you don't self-love yourself, you can't love somebody else. Like you can't love another fucking human being. You know, if you 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 need to have undivided love for yourself, you know. And if people call you greedy, then you know what? So be it. Those are not your friends, you know, simple as that. Um, cause you know, somebody that loves you would love nothing more than to see you take care of yourself. Okay. So here we go. Knight of Pentacles. Long, long time. For some of you, this is 13 years later. Okay. I'm just, every time I see the Knight of Pentacles, it's just the number 13 automatically goes to my mind. Why? I don't know. How? I don't know. Okay, please universal energies. Okay, um, spirit guides, ancestors. Let me get two more messages for anybody that was put here by the title of this reading. Eight of Cups. So recently, some of you walked away from a situation. Why? Because it took you a long motherfucking time to get what you needed. You know, um, with the Five of Wands, I feel that you know, you may walk away from this, but I'll tell you, you're going to walk away a little fucking hurt and rejected. You know, with the five of wands, I feel like for some of you, this is, um, you know, uh, having ego issues, you know, saying I can't fucking believe that I needed to fucking compete with that. I can't believe that I needed to fight with that. You know, for others of you, listen, stop gossiping around with people about your life. You know, I learned a long time ago that you should not really trust many people. You know, I used to be a very open book and I made the mistake of so many times opening up myself to the wrong crowd, you know? So be careful who you open up yourself to and um, you know, sometimes, listen, we open up ourselves to people who really don't have your best interest at heart, you know? Um, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please, Universal Energies. And guess what? All those people, thank you for doing what you did because you know what? I cut you off. <laughs> yeah, you know, you just cut people off. You know, that's, uh, I'm, I don't know. Somebody asked me the other day. How do I do it? How do I detach? Let me tell you, I have no issues in detaching. Probably because most of my life, I I went through life kind of really not trusting the people that I should have trusted. Didn't have anything to do with my family, but like older when you became, you know, friends with people, you know, from an early age on, I knew, you know, I knew, <laughs> I knew in my heart 
who was my friend and who was not. Okay, so you have here the Four of Cups. Some of you are crying over spilled milk. You're crying over a missed opportunity. You're feeling super bad. And I'm hearing vulnerable, you know? So some of you may be feeling like, fuck, you know, like I have lost all my power in this. You know, why is the Four of Cups here? Four of Cups, why is it here? Four of Cups, please, Universal Energies. Four of Cups, Seven of Wands. Okay, with the seven of wands, I feel that for some of you, this was this was something. Listen, you can't fight by yourself. You know, um, you know, if if you are fighting an army, this is like fighting an army by yourself. Like, are you really going to win? No, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna fucking need the strength if you want to fight an army. Because I'll tell you, there's somebody here who will not not be on your side. They will not fight with you. You know, and this could have been the person that walked away. This is why you are here standing. You know, I, I feel like some of you are standing alone at the finish line, kind of waiting for this person to kind of surface, you know. Um, seven of Swords. There's lies and deceptions here. Um, with the Seven of Swords, this is one of the most deceptive cards in the deck. Hidden secrets, hidden lies, things that are just not touchable. You know, they're just, listen, People who cheat, people who lie, they are who they are, you know, and they show you who they are. You know, and some of you with the Eight of Swords, you're trapped in this. This is trapped. Let me tell you, I've been seeing the Eight of Swords in so many readings lately, and I feel that some of you are stuck in a situation where you feel like you cannot move. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get yourself out of there because you know what? With The, the best thing about the Eight of Swords is that you can... You hold the key to the prison. <laughs> does it really get any better than that? You know, does it really get any better than that? No, it doesn't. You're holding the key. Okay, why is the Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords, why is it here? Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are stuck in a place because of money issues okay i feel that for some of you you know this is being in the middle of a home this is a home this is also a lot of money involved you know with the ten of pentacles there is security some of you may be here over security you know over your safety why is the eight of cups here why is the eight of cups here why does somebody walk away from the past Ooh, do we do it yes we're gonna do it <laughs> That was a lot. That's a lot. But you know what? We're going to do them. High Priestess. I, this is another card that I've been seeing in many readings lately. The High Priest, the, lately, the High Priestess, knowing, full knowing, deep knowing, two of cups, the world. Listen, you're not going to be able to open up your love to, new, to the new, you know, you're not going to be able to open your soul up to new love if you continue to be in the in the past fuckery. You also have here the eight of pentacles. I feel like a lot of you put some work into this. So right now there's eight, eight, eight in this reading, which I think it's good. Some of you are coming to the end of something. However, listen, you have to be able and willing to detach and to take off the blinders and really see the truth, you know, because with the eight of of swords as you can see this girl she is hiding her eyes because she doesn't want to see the truth you know but so at some point you will have to peel off the layers of that you know the ace of wands okay brand new love something passionate for you knight of wands and the king of chalices listen i'm gonna tell you for those of you that are looking for somebody who is dependable and loyal and loving. Listen, the person is coming. They will show you the action when it is time. They will show you the love. They will have a conversation with you when it is time. But in the meantime, I'm gonna clarify what's in your outcome because I don't like the outcome. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? 10 of wands, listen, drop the bullshit drop it listen you're carrying around a full army okay a full army and you're trying to fight a full army and i'm going to tell you right now some of you can't and i'm going to tell you this is causing you this is causing you so much anxiety look at the look at the look on this woman's face it's like oh my god fucking help me 
you know what do you do what do you do with that you know that's having no energy there's a definite fucking ending here with the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands like i said some of you i feel are moving on the world is here which is starting off a new chapter the end of something old and the beginning of something new you know what do you have to do with it stop you need to stop being so anxious so why is the nine of, of swords here let's see why is the nine of swords here this is way too many but i will take these two because they were like kind of looking up at me and kind of oh there's three all right we'll do them three of swords heartbreak and fucking betrayal okay five of wands not once but fucking twice okay a lot of fuckery in this situation a lot of competition and another fucking ten of swords so i'm going to tell you you have here ten of swords ten of pentacles ten of wands no ten of cups which is loving caring beautiful energy that's missing here you know so listen if this is about material things, I'm going to tell you some of you are stressing the fuck out about where you are, who you're with. And this has got to do things with either your past. You know, some of you could say, you know, how could this? Listen, third parties, because I'm going to tell you right now with the three of swords, this is a betrayal. Third parties are not honored by the universe, you know, and some somebody here just walked away. You know, so some of you jumped from the you know 888 to the 10 10 10 you know um yeah it's it's pretty much the ending of this and some of you are gonna feel like you were fucking defeated like you were defeated like you were you you know and i'm gonna tell you you're still gonna fucking be angry you're still gonna be angry you're still gonna be arguing you're still gonna be fucking anxious and you're gonna still be fucking heartbroken and until you heal this whole situation the ace of wands which is a brand new beginning will not open up for you okay and i just saw 12 12 for those of you that that means anything <laughs> all right so thank you very much for being here for those of you that are looking to book a reading all the information is listed in the description box below thank you so much for being here and take care